Modern medical practitioners have backed, have backed the global campaign to eliminate trans fatty acids in food supply by the year 2023 if the global fight against cardiovascular diseases is to be won. The experts who spoke to AIT in Lagos said trans fat consumption is a significant risk factor for cardiovascular diseases, which has led to the death of more than 500,000 people yearly. Trans fats are responsible for more than half a million deaths around the world each year, most in low and middle income countries. As part of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the global community is expressing full commitment to reducing premature death from non-communicable diseases by one third come 2030. To experts, elimination of industrially produced trans fat is a major solution. We recognize that trans fat is also a product found in the body, which when consumed in high content, raises the unfriendly cholesterol. And by raising the low density cholesterol can lead to heart attack. We do now have a regulation that by 2030, we must make sure that we eradicate all trans fat in all food products available all over the world. They increase your risk of heart disease, uh, increase your risk for cancer and diabetes. And uh, they do so by reducing your good cholesterol and increasing your bad cholesterol. So they're bad. Apart from the trans fat that occurs naturally in foods, many others are industrially manufactured by adding hydrogen to vegetable oil, a process which transforms the oil into a solid fat. These trans fat are found in hardened vegetable fats like margarine and in snacks, baked and fried foods. By 2030 in Nigeria, even before then, Nigeria Foundation is not going to accept any product that has a trace of trans fat. So your trans fat, as of now I'm talking to you, must be between zero and one gram per hundred gram of oil. If you eat only our local foods, uh, it's unlikely you will encounter trans fat. Trans fat is usually from processed foods. So frying is bad, period. Sadly, not many Nigerians are aware of the existence of trans fatty acids in foods, hence the global campaign for governments across the world to create awareness on the negative impact of trans fat and also enact laws to back up its implementation. I know that oils generally have fat that some of them like um, are very, very toxic to the body. Yeah, I know about fat, but I don't, I, don't, I don't really know about trans fat. I can't speak with authority because I really don't know the details about that product. So I've not even heard of that before. I'm just hearing it now. No. Most, most of my oil is being, let me just say, it's being imported from someone, Sha. In May 2018, the World Health Organization released the Replace Action Package, a six-step strategic actions to ensure prompt, complete, and sustained elimination of trans fat from global food chain by 2023. Nukoli Omaudu, AIT News, Lagos. Lagos residents.